In the universe, there are explosions so insane they can outshine an entire galaxy full of stars. Now, we all know about black holes. They're the universe's ultimate monsters, right? But what if I told you the biggest stellar black holes are born from an explosion even more powerful than a supernova? An explosion that doesn't just kill a star, it rips a hole straight through space-time. This is not science fiction. It's a hypernova. It's the most powerful explosion the universe can create. And it's how the most terrifying black holes are born. In this video, we're going to figure out how a dying star can create an explosion 100 times bigger than a supernova and leave behind a massive black hole. We're going to follow the clues from the heart of a dying star all the way to the edge of the universe. Okay, before we get to the hypernova, we need to talk about its smaller cousin, the supernova. It all starts with a massive star, at least eight times bigger than our sun. For millions of years, this star has been in a constant battle with itself. Gravity is trying to crush it, and the nuclear fusion in its core is pushing back. But that can't last. Eventually, the star's core turns to iron. And for a star, iron is game over. You can't fuse it to get more energy. So, with its fuel gone, the star loses the fight. In less than a second, the core collapses, bounces back, and triggers a massive shockwave that blows the rest of the star to pieces. That's a supernova. What's left? A neutron star. This thing is so dense that one teaspoon of it would weigh more than all the cars on Earth combined. That's the normal way a big star dies. It's dramatic, sure. But for some stars, this is just the beginning. The story of a hypernova starts with an absolute monster of a star. We're not talking just massive. We're talking about a star that's 30 or 40 times bigger than our sun. These things are true giants. Because these stars are so ridiculously heavy, their gravity is almost unstoppable. When they run out of fuel and the iron core collapses, there's nothing that can hold it back. It doesn't even stop at being a neutron star. It just keeps crushing itself. The collapse is so intense that it overwhelms every force of nature we know. This is where it gets crazy. The core shrinks past the neutron star limit, getting smaller and denser until it becomes a point that literally breaks physics as we know it. A black hole is born right inside the star. But how does a silent, light-swallowing black hole create the universe's loudest explosion? This is where our cosmic investigation really kicks off. We have a brand new black hole, surrounded by the rest of the star falling in on it. You'd think the black hole would just eat the star from the inside out, right? Wrong. Two things change everything, speed and magnetism. These giant stars aren't just sitting there. They're often spinning incredibly fast. So when the core collapses, it spins up like an Olympic ice skater pulling in their arms. This creates a spinning, super-hot whirlpool of gas around the new black hole, called an accretion disk. This disk is the engine of the whole operation. It's a vortex of gas spiraling into a black hole at almost the speed of light. This insane spinning environment creates magnetic fields more powerful than anything we can imagine. These magnetic fields act like a funnel. Most of the gas falls into the black hole, but a little bit gets shot out in two super-focused beams of particles traveling at nearly the speed of light. These jets are the smoking gun. This entire setup has a name, the Collapser Model, which stands for Collapsed Star. You have a new black hole, and its spinning disk of doom is acting like an engine, firing two jets of pure energy out from its poles. Think of these jets like cosmic drills. They erupt from the core and have to blast their way through all the outer layers of the star that are collapsing inward. It is a race against time. The jets have to break out of the star before the black hole runs out of gas to fuel them. If the jets are strong enough, they win the race. They burst out of the star's surface and unleash a beam of high-energy light called a gamma-ray burst, or GRB. These are the single most powerful blasts of light in the universe, and seeing them is how we first proved the Collapser model was real. The energy from the jets then blows the rest of the star apart in an explosion 10 to 100 times more energetic than a regular supernova. That is a hypernova. It's the death cry of a star announcing the birth of a massive black hole. So what do you get after all that chaos? A hypernova explosion that can outshine its own galaxy for weeks, and a brand new black hole that's often more than 10 times the mass of our sun. This is one of the main ways the universe builds its biggest and baddest stellar black holes. But here's the plot twist. Not every giant star gets to do this. The conditions have to be perfect. The star needs to be massive enough and spinning fast enough. So what happens if the jets aren't strong enough? Sometimes they stall out inside the star. 
They start to drill, but they can't break through. This is called a choked or failed jet. The star might still go hypernova, but you wouldn't see that insane gamma ray burst. And in other cases, if the star isn't spinning fast enough, it might just disappear. The star collapses directly into a black hole with no major explosion at all. We call it a silent collapse or an unnova. Can you imagine that? A star bigger than our sun just vanishing without a trace. So what does it take to create a massive black hole in a hypernova? It's a perfect cosmic storm. You need a truly giant star spinning at insane speeds that collapses into a black hole. That new black hole fires out two jets of pure energy that literally tear the star apart from the inside. The result? The biggest explosion in the universe since the Big Bang and the birth of a monster black hole. We now know that hypernovas, gamma ray bursts, and black holes are all connected. But there are still so many questions. How often do these actually happen? And what's the deciding factor between a mind-blowing hypernova and a silent collapse? New telescopes and gravitational wave detectors are giving us a better look than ever before. That leaves us with one last thought. What other secrets are hiding inside these cosmic explosions? Let me know what you think in the comments below. The universe is full of this kind of insane physics, and every discovery gives us a new clue about how it all works. If you want to keep exploring the most extreme events in the cosmos, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what we investigate next.